there. Okay, so today I have the Creatures of the Night book tag here for you. This tag was originally created by Katie Tastic here on YouTube, who is one of my favorite booktubers ever. And I saw this and I was like, this is so up my alley. I love it. I love books. I love crazy, supernatural, freaky stories. And I just really like the tag. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, let's go. So the way this tag works, if you haven't seen it yet, is there are, how many are there? 10 different supernatural sort of character types or something like that, like supernatural creatures, I guess you can say. And I will try to name a book that has each of these. Did I explain myself well? I don't know. The first creature is a vampire. And for this, I'm going to choose a book that I actually cannot show you because I don't know where it is. and I. Just figured that out now and I started looking for it and I was like, where is it? I don't know. Anyways, the book is Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yes, I went there, guys, because that was the first ever vampire book I ever read in my entire life. And honestly, okay, I read that when I was like maybe like, what, 12? And it creeped the crap out of me. I feel like if I read it right now, I wouldn't even get like spooked at all. Maybe, I don't really know, because I have read it so long ago. But I know that it really did scare me back then. But I also know that I loved it like hell. It was one of those books that I couldn't put down and I remember that after I finished it, I was like having really trouble sleeping for like two weeks because I was really scared. But I really did love the book. The book is so good and I loved the series so, 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 so much. So I, I just had to mention that one. It just had to be done. The second creature is a werewolf. And for this category, I chose the Mercy Thompson series, and most specifically the first book, Moon Called. And I did read this a while back, like I really don't remember when exactly I read this, but I know I read it a while back. And I loved it. I actually haven't, I don't think I've read the second book yet. Or have I read the second and not read the third? I don't know. I don't remember. But I know I haven't read in any way near all the books in this series. But I loved this book so much. I love Mercy Thompson's character. She's so fierce and like independent and all like free woman, like free woman. <laughs> She's just, to me, one of the best um, female characters I've ever read about, so yeah. The third creature is a zombie and I am very sorry guys, but I can't really show you a book that I've read about zombies because I've never read a book about zombies, yeah. Next category is ghosts. And for this one, I chose this book right here. I have shown this before on another book tag that I've done a while back. This is Bell Love After Death. I, again, I've said this before, I'm not 100% sure this is the actual translation because this book was actually written by a Spanish author so it's hard to find a translation for it, but it's something like that. And this, I really liked it. I read it a while back, uh, but I really loved it. And my best friend actually already read this as well. Um, and she really loved it as well. And she's like super crazy and she likes supernatural stuff just like me. So if it, that's up your alley, I should really recommend this book to you because it is really good. I liked it. Fifth category is witch, warlock, or spell casting person of some genre or whatever. And yeah, guys, I went for the obvious one because, you know, I thought about putting here any other book, but it just didn't feel right. So yes, it is coming. The most obvious choice in this category, Harry Potter. I know it's so freaking obvious, like who would not think about Harry Potter? And that was exactly what I thought. So I was just kind of like, no, no, no. Okay, I'm going to go through all the books that I read and I'm... I know that I've read like a ton of books about witches and such, so I mean I will totally show another one. But then it just didn't feel right, guys, because this is my favorite witchy, warlocky book ever. And I mean, just, I mean, what can I do? So yeah. The next category is fairy or fae, and for this one I chose Wicked Lovely, and I've read the first four books in the series, I think. Yeah, four. Um, I'm not sure if the fifth one is out already or not. I know it's not out here in my country. I'm not sure if it's out in America or whatever. Uh, but I really love this series and I really want to read the fifth book even though I barely even remember what happened because I've been waiting for that book for like almost two years now or more. So there you go. But I really, really, really love these books. My favorite one though I think was the fourth one which is Radiant Shadows if I'm not wrong. The next category is demon and again guys, I'm sorry. I know I've read a book with demons and 
I just, I just can't think of it right now. I know that I read something that was like super crazy and it was definitely about a demon, but I think I read a preview of it at the end of some other book. I can't remember the book I read it in. Can't remember what that was. I know it sounded really cool that I really wanted to get the book, but I actually never really did. So yeah, but reading an actual book about demons, I don't think I ever have. So I'm sorry. The eighth category is Angel. And for this one, I chose, of course, Hush Hush. This is a series that I really loved. I will be 100% honest with you. I was super crazy disappointed with the last book. I don't know if it was because I read it translated to Portuguese and I will tell you something. The translation was disgustingly awful. I was reading the book and I was like, oh my God, what is this? Like, it just sounded so bad. And like the word, the expressions that were used, they're not even like used here anymore. Like it's just, it was weird. And I really did not like it. But it, it might be because of that, so I'm kind of, I really want to read the last book on this series um, in English because it sucked in Portuguese. So I'm hoping that's the reason why it sucked, but I really didn't enjoy it. But everything other than that, I loved it. This first book is delicious and amazing. I really love it. I really, really, really love these books. Next is an alien. And you're gonna kill me, but I don't think I've ever read a book of an alien either. What? I really want to read the host though because I know like I've seen the movie and loved it and my best friend read the book and she loved it and I know I'm gonna love it but the book is huge and I usually really like huge books but lately and for the past maybe like a year or something I've always been trying to run away from huge books because if they're addicting um you just want to keep reading them but you can't exactly go oh I'm just going to read the rest of the book because the rest of the book is like this size um, and I'm not in the moment where I can, like, be completely stuck reading a book instead of doing everything else that I should be doing. So, <laughs> I've been kind of pulling away from reading that. I know, guys. It seems so stupid that I'm doing the SAG because I haven't read, like, three of, like, books with three of these creatures. But, yeah, I don't know, guys. I guess I just read a lot of stuff with witches and fairies and some with vampires and werewolves and such. And those are mostly, and like super powered humans, which we'll get into in a second. And so like, I feel like that's maybe the case. Like I don't really, I don't know, like aliens are not too much my style and zombies aren't either. Um, I mean, I've never read anything with them, so I'm not gonna say that I don't like it. I'm just saying that there are not as much in my style as for example, witches are. I've always been very into witches and I've never really been into zombies and such. So, well, sorry about that. And the last category is super powered humans and I chose actually well this is funny I chose Shadowfell but I actually don't have the Shadowfell book to show you guys right now because my best friend has it so I'm gonna show you Ravenflight which is the second book that I actually have not read but I mean Shadowfell like there is Shadowfell is written right here I don't know if you guys can see but it is so yeah that's what I mean uh, because the main character she she isn't exactly like a uh, supernatural creature herself but she does have powers let's just Call her a super powered human, shall we? So yeah guys, that was it for this tag. Um, if you want to do it, you're officially tagged, so you should do it right now and then post it and then tell me you did because I really want to watch it. So that's it guys, I will go now and I will see you soon. Hearts, hugs, and kisses. Bye. That was the stupidest introduction. the stupid introduction. I don't I can speak. That was probably the stupid introduction I ever official had. <laughs> I so the first uh, creepy no so this tag works the, the, because I don't know where it lives and for this I'm gonna choose a book that I actually don't like why doesn't he say the original I don't know. it does the first book this one the wicked lovely the first book I thought about change uh, I know